Koppel, host of the Time for Coffee podcast, where you get firsthand career advice into the jobs and industries that interest you the most. And before we start today's show, I have a quick favor to ask you. If you haven't already, I'd be incredibly grateful if you give us a rating and a review on iTunes. And if you're like me, you need to do it now because you'll forget later and because it's the best way to help others who may be in search of career advice to find this free resource. So press pause if you haven't done it and do it right now. I'll wait. Thanks so much and enjoy today's show. Hey there, Java Junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or ten minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Serena Sung. I know your story, and I know that you started posting on LinkedIn during the pandemic when you were still a student, and yet you still say you wish you'd started sooner. (laughs) Yes. Why is that? Man, I mean, I'm just so glad that I did start posting when I was a student, because if I hadn't, then there would have been no way that I would have been able to start my brand in a full-time position because, you know, I'm working a nine to five. At this point in my journey on LinkedIn, I'm able to auto schedule my posts so that I'm not looking at LinkedIn all the time while I'm at work. But typically when you first start out as a creator, you want to be engaging in the first hour of your posts, but I can't really do that because I'm working my job. So that's why it's important for students to do that while they have the flexibility and while they're in college, because they kind of have this schedule where it's a lot more flexible in that you have classes throughout the day, but then you'll have a lot of breaks in between, or maybe you're taking remote classes so you can technically be online whenever you want to. That's why I encourage students to do it now as opposed to waiting later. And I have seen a lot of benefits that come from building my LinkedIn brand, so many to the point where I do wish that I did do it earlier. You know, I started pretty quote unquote late. (laughs) <laughs> because it was 2020 when I started and I was almost a senior in college. But I see so many people, not so many people, I see a handful of people who are high schoolers and they already have thousands of followers on LinkedIn. And I know that they're going to get so many opportunities by the time they're in college. So imagine if I had started writing three years ago, I probably would have so many cool opportunities to do. But you don't know what you don't know. You just got to start now. So as you know, it's super intimidating to get started with posting for somebody of any age. But I think especially when you're a college student and maybe a recent grad, what advice can you give them, Serena, as to how they can get over the imposter syndrome that they're experiencing and P.S. even people who have decades under their belt still experience the imposter syndrome. So welcome to the club. How can they get over that and recognize that they do have valuable thoughts that they can share on this platform? I think the first thing that students need to recognize is that LinkedIn is not as buttoned up as they probably think it is. So first, getting over that mentality that LinkedIn is only a professional platform where you post about your accomplishments and interact with coworkers and that's it at the end of the day. But that's not true because LinkedIn is evolving as a social media platform. It's becoming more of a platform where people will go to it for entertainment or for news or really just to gain some value from the community and make connections. Because ultimately, people are on LinkedIn in order to build their network and to grow relationships But a part of that is sharing your thoughts. So if you're a student, you're also able to attract a similar like-minded community to yourself if you post content that is relatable to them. So talk about rejection stories. Talk about what you wished you knew before you did something. 
or just talk about lessons that you're learning through your internship experience. And through that, you'll be able to make friends and also learn about new opportunities that exist and just be able to create an awesome community. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to this latest episode of t for c And if you're interested in learning more about my coaching services for confused college students and recent grads, feel free to check out the time for Coffee website under the coaching tab at time the number four coffee.org or text me at 202 236 5712. That's 202 236 5712.